I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some halal fun together. Uh, today we have an open challenge and our Skype is open already. So if you are a Mohammedan, you like to call us, please feel free. And just please uh, maintain your tongue um, clean. Uh, as we noticed yesterday, we have some callers who are very, very filthy. Uh, you know, yesterday we have a topic about... Uh, uh, how Muhammad died, you know, like Muhammad died by poison. And then a Muhammad and he called me and he said he want to show me that I'm wrong. And then he called for me verses saying that Allah will cause the death of Muhammad, which is making it even more horrible. Because if you ask yourself, why, why Allah even want to cause his death? Is he cause? Uh, and uh, to cause the death of somebody, it means it's not his time yet, maybe, you know? I mean, because I caused you, I caused you to die. So I, I force your death now. So, a uh, big failure. And when we show them the hadith, they try to deny the hadith because they are ashamed of their prophet hadith. But don't worry, Muslims. Today we do not have to talk about it, unless you like, no problem. Uh, so, how we can confirm that Muhammad is a prophet from so-called God, Allah, or not? You know, I will, we will take an example. If we ask the Muslims about the verses in the Quran, in chapter 18, about uh, the sunset in the murky water, the first answer the Muslim will give us, it doesn't say that CP. No, the sun doesn't set in the murky water. The Quran never say that. But the Quran says it clearly, and the one is talking is Allah, he found it sitting in a murky spring. And then you go, you can go and watch millions of videos made by Muslims to defend the Quran. And you will find that all of them, they say, the Quran saying it was made to appear to Zulqarnayn, which is Alexander the Great, which is funny. I mean, how Alexander the Great became a Muslim. And this guy is a bisexual, and he is a pagan, and you name it. So, uh, uh, all the Muslims, they try to make to make it uh, look different, so they say, well, Allah, he made it appear. And this is as an example, an article in front of me, uh, written by Muhammadans, you know, to uh, confirm what I'm saying. You know, like, okay, well, no, the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran, well, what the Quran meant, he made it appear to Zulqarnayn. Appear to Zulqarnayn. Uh, so here they are teaching Muslims how to answer such a question. And I would like Muslims, I can give you even the article, so you can read it, you, know, you can use it against me. Uh, uh, please do, because then we will laugh. So when a Muslim he tried to defend, I find it really funny. Sunset in murky water, Quran 1886, the author of the, this article saying, Yes, Quran read that's uh, on well-known king, 
who traveled around the global, okay, but suddenly was contemplating the sun was looking as if going down, looking as, look, he put the as are there, as if. Now, if we ask the Muslims, does the Quran say as if? Is it really in the Quran? It says as if. Who is a Muslim can help us? Do the Quran say as if, or this is your own fabrication? You know, the Muslim, they say the Quran is an amazing Arabic lecturer book. And I find the Quran the most silly, stupid book ever in Arabic. And actually, even there's many verses in the Quran that are making fun of such a book. Uh, but here you see how this book is stupid. Because if Allah is so good in Arabic, and Allah, he, nobody can write Quran like him, you know, this is what the Muslim says, then how Allah could not find the right uh, uh, words to explain himself? Read the verse. This is the Muslim translation. I have nothing to do with it, as I know. I don't accept any Muhammadan translation. All Muhammadan translation is a fabrication. So the one is talking is Allah. The Jews, they ask Muhammad. They are asking you, Allah is saying to Muhammad, and they are asking you about Dil Qurnayn. And here you ask yourself, this God, he want to tell us about Dil Qurnayn. But who is Dil Qurnayn? I mean, don't this guy have a name? Is that really his name? The guy with the two horn? This is what the Qur'an mean. And then the Muhammadan, they try to explain who is this person. They claim that he is a person who came to his people and he asked them to convert to Islam. So they hit him in, head, in his head in the hammer, by the hammer. So he got a big pimple, like a horn. After they hit him with the hammer and he died. Then Allah resurrected him and he sent him again to warn them. And then again, they hit him with the hammer and he got the second horn. Moing. This is the Muslim's explanation for the Quran. When the fact, this is the guy, Alexander the Great, even in the Mikathir it says, the one who built the Alexandria city. Uh, the Roman, they, they wear a hat in the old days, in the top of their head when they go in war, and they have horn, that's all. Otherwise saying the guy with the two horn is a stupid. Why, he's a cow? Is he human? Or he is an, an animal? What is the name? So the Quran did not give a name because obviously the one who made this story, he did not know the name of the person. He was copying a story written by a person from Syria, fiction story about Alexander the Great. And in that story, he caught him as the person with the two, or the king with the two horn. Uh, and then Allah says, they are asking you, okay, I will tell you something for you of his story. And here you need to, need to focus. So the one is telling the story is Allah. It's not even the guy. So as long as Allah is the one is telling the story, well, Allah is telling the story as it is. We establish for him an earth. So Allah claimed, supposedly, Aka Muhammad, that the victories of this man was given to him from Allah. Later we will find out, because he's a prophet. And then, and then we gave him the meaning of everything, like army, you know, men, women, uh, 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 gold, silver, you name it. And then he followed away, he decided to go in a mission, expedition, to kill. Entered, he reached the sitting place of the sun, and here you see the stupidity again. Where is the sitting place of the sun liquidated? Remember, the one is talking is Allah. The one is talking is Allah. It's not the guy talking now. So Allah here is not saying until he reached what he think is sitting in the place of the sun. No, he said until he reached the sitting place of the sun. So the Quran not only teach the sun sit in murky water, he confirmed that, that there is a sitting place. And then he, he, like he continued. He found it, and you know, all of us, we knew. There's a huge difference between he found it and he thought. Very simple. So the Muhammadan here, they try to make it 
different and then they come to you if you go to the article you will you will see how funny it is that you know what uh, this website is not working i don't know why sooner.com uh you know it appeared he thought you know and they say it doesn't don't you see sometime you go to the ocean and you see as the sun going down in the ocean but the verse says spring of water there's no ocean Read with me what the Mohammedan here trying to do, uh, fix this problem. This verse does not state the sun goes into the body of the water, and there's no implication of this at all. Good. It says he found it, and find is about reality, not about fiction. And then he says, some argue saying, the translation added as if, well, according to Arabic, linguistic that what it's mean what the heck where <laughs> and as long it is again uh, according to the arabic linguistic how come your linguistic uh, translator did not have it <laughs> as if <laughs> and in the in this in the same time what the point of allah is saying as if is it or not <laughs> And I tell you, I found the sun sitting in my basketball net. Then what you understand? Well, I understand that you are a donkey. You're a liar. Right? And then they go to NASA. On May 19, 2005, NASA, Mars, exploration, uh, rover spirit captured, this is stunning view, as the sun sank below rim, of the cause of a uh, creator on Mars. What the heck is that? I mean, we are talking about the Earth. We are talking about water. We are talking about spring. And now we go to Mars. Was uh, this guy living in Mars? What you see how you know how silly their argument. And then we go to the Hadith. We find that Muhammad he agree. Muhammad he says the sun set in a murky muddy water. And this hadith is authentic. Like said, now we cannot open this hadith uh, website. Let us try again. Look like they still have the problem. Yeah. So here you notice that the Muslims they have this uh, uh, complication because simply uh, their prophet he is a false man, and he says silly, stupid things. And now we need to fix what Allah is saying. And yet they claim that this Arabic of Allah is so perfect because what you are saying now, if the Arabic of Allah is perfect and Allah Arabic is confusing and now you think that it says so, but it doesn't say so, that's mean Allah, he failed to speak good Arabic. But anyone who knows Arabic, actually the translation here is close to accurate. Until he reached the sitting place of the sun. How clear is it is? The sitting place of the sun. That alone is a disaster because we cannot reach that place because it's not a place. There's no such a thing. The sun by appearance sit everywhere. No matter where you go. I do not need to move from my chair so I can witness the sun set after a few hours. But here, the person he traveled from point A to point B and point A is where he started and point B is where the sun place or sit in place and then he continue confirming what he found in the sitting place of the sun so here we have two facts not one he found the sitting place and he found where it said and nowhere in the verse says he thought it appeared to him as if it, all of this garbage nowhere and the Arabic is so clear حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب في عين حمية ووجد عندها قوما قلنا يا ذو القرنين إما أن تعذب وإما أن تتخذ فيهم حسنة. Where is uh, where what they claim? And not only this, things is even getting worse because he says and he found near it. <laughs> I mean the glue is getting more stronger. 
he found near it, near what? Near where the sun set. Where, near what? Near the spring. <laughs> so when uh, Zach and Nike he says, Brother Tutar, they said that the Quran had been and have been error. And they say the Quran said that the sun set in Mercator. Brother Tutar, in fact, the Quran never said so. The Quran said that the Quran appeared to him to see the sun as if it is going in the murky water. In the ocean. As you see, there's no ocean, there's no as if. No, there's no appear to him. I mean, is, uh, is your God Allah short of words? Can't Allah say as if he thought what this drama is about? And then we have the hadith of Muhammad where he said the sun set really in a, in a muddy hot water. Who is a Muhammad and would like to give us a call? Please don't forget to share. Like many people do not know we are going in this channel for now. That's why we have a low view. And I don't know why. I mean, this channel have like 90,000 something. Any Muhammadan? So... Uh, uh, a million videos made by Muslims, article to defend the Quran, but all of them they are a failure based in nothing but uh, false uh, answers. All of it is false answer. Who is a Muhammadan? He can give us a call and show us where it says, as if it is set in murky water in Arabic, go ahead, or appear to him. Who want to show us? Maybe, maybe we are blind. We cannot see it. Where? It says wajadaha. Wajadaha mean he found, and found mean find. Very easy. Find, report a fact. When we say somebody he went home and he found his wife cheating on him, like Muhammad and Aisha. So, is that imaginary? Is that appear to him? Is that he thought or he found? If the story ends with he was wrong, then the story should come as the following. He thought his wife is a cheat on him. Not he found his wife cheating on him. Because if you say he found, that means she was cheating. But if you say he thought, that means she is not. So the word found is to report a finding, not a fiction, not a thought, not maybe. Any Muhammadan? My Skype is open. If any of you would like to join us, please feel free. Who is a Muslim would like to text me in Skype and call me and tell me how we can fix this error in the Quran? And how this drama end? Because the story is not over. Then the guy he go and he continue and he change direction and then he go where the sun rising place. So there is two places: a place where the sun rise, and a place where the sun set. But this is stupid to say. This is absolutely stupid to say. I can be sitting in my chair and see the sun's rising and the sun sitting in the same place. Because this is about a point of view, it's not really a place. Okay, my chair is my chair, nothing changed, the same location. I do not need to go anywhere. And then the Quran continue with the fiction, which is copy from the story we mentioned, claiming that those people who are, they are stupid and they are ignorant and do not understand the word, as you see. Hardly can understand the word. And then suddenly, those who cannot understand the word, they start uh, advising Zulkarnain with a very complicated uh, building project to build a dam. So how those people are stupid, they can't understand the word. And then they say it. I mean, they can't understand the word. This is the stupidity. Imagine I go somewhere and 
those people that I don't understand what they are saying, they don't understand what I'm saying, because obviously we speak different languages, and obviously they are stupid too. And then they said, Do you see how funny, how silly this Quran is? They said, well, you, just say, you just say they don't understand the word. And what, we, what they say is not like, welcome, let us give you food. No, they start with a very complicated topic and they are asking Zulkarnain to build a dam. They are very smart. Now, how they are the one who have the idea of building the dam, but they cannot build a dam. And as you see, they have all the material and they have the idea. He says, give me pieces of a block of iron. Hey, my friend, we can talk about work on the offer. When we finish, you know, don't you see we have a topic? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to share with us? What is this? This is a fiction story, silly story. It's not even good for kids. You know, Aladdin, Aladdin and the 40 Thieves. Uh, Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. All actually, all chapter 18 is nothing but fair, you know, fairy tale stories. The flying carpet of Solomon, Solomon, he heard the, uh, the, the ant, the ant don't talk, they, they, they communicate, yes, you can say that talking, but they don't make speeches. So Suleiman, he laughed at her speech. And then Suleiman, he died standing for a year. And nobody noticed because he was holding a stick. So who is a Muslim he want to share with us some of the knowledge, the priceless knowledge about your God? I mean, this is amazing. A lot of people now will convert to Islam because this is a new discovery. That Zulkarnain is a Muslim first and he is a, a bisexual. This guy, he sleep with everybody. And everybody sleep with him. You go to his room, he bent over, they start doing boom boom to him. How in the world this guy, he became a, a prophet, a messenger. Anyone? Any Mohammedan would like to join us? And by the way, you can even, we can change the topic for you. Like in yesterday, we have a Muslim, he says, Allah, he caused the prophet to die. Why? Yeah, actually, there's a book. It's called The Legion of the Jews. You can download it from the internet. It's for it's free legally, I think. It's yeah, it's called The Legion of the Jews. And this is part of their legion, that's Suleiman. This is a story of the Jews that tell their kids about Suleiman. Flying carpet, rings. You know. He went, uh, he saw an ant. But in The Legion of the Jews, he, he saw the ant. He put it in his hand, you know. And there's a conversation. So Muhammad always, he, he had his own space. Yeah, all the stories Muhammad he brought, he brought from somebody. Everything he have is not his own. Any Mohammedan? How this happened? And then there's Gog and Magog, who they are, their ratio is 1,000 to one human, which means if we are 1 billion, they are 1 trillion. Where we can find them? And where is this dam who Zulkarnain he built? And those people, they will come out and this will be the day of ju the judgment day. This is a sign of the day of judgment. They are very evil and they will swarm the earth and they will attack all the way to Mecca. So where we can find this dam, which is built from copper and iron. And Muhammad even make it more funny when he claimed that in his, during his lifetime, uh, Gog and Magog, they were open a hole in the size of his like finger or hand. And he says, Awe to the Arab, today a hole open in the wall. <laughs> Awe to the Arab. Any Mohammedan? Uh, 
Anyone? Yeah, later, maybe in a few days, I will make a video there and tell people that we are here for now. No problem. Well, always, my friend, we say, uh, join, sub uh, subscribe to Patreon. It's for free. You don't need to make a donation. So when I want to go live, I will post a link. And where I am, who cares? If this channel or that channel, who cares? You will notify that you will go live. You watch him, whatever he go. Patreon in front of you on the screen in every single video. And people, they say to me, where we can find you? I mean, well, so why we are posting Patreon for you? Go there. You don't even need to log in. You can see my channel. Without even making an account. Any Abdul? We have somebody complaining, Nita. Thank you for a uh, good see you. My response delay blocked for a moment. God bless. I don't know what this drama is about. Uh, I hope admin they are not blocking people for no reason. Do we have any Abdul? Any Mohammedan would like to join us? Imran Hussein, he knew the place of the dam. Uh, did he say that in the video? If yes, tell me which video, the title, and tell me what minute. Maybe later. Any Mohammedan? Anyone? Any two? Any three? So as you see, Quran is not even, I mean, if we move in this page, we, we, we will die laughing at, at what the Quran is teaching. Just read it. Chapter 18 is the, is the chapter of fictions and silly stuff. Before it, there is a story about a guy, his name is Al-Khudr. Anyone knows what Al-Khudr mean? Al-Khudr mean the green, Mr. Green. Okay, why they call him Mr. Green? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. And since then, he is a youth. And when he sit in a grass, even if the grass is dry, the grass will become a green. So he is Mr. Green. And this Al-Khadr is a person who exists in the time of Noah. He attended the funeral of Aaron and the funeral of Moses. And he was in the funeral of Prophet Muhammad. The same guy. Why? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. And this is the person who Allah sent Moses to learn, to, to learn from him. So he exists in the time of Moses too. Moses, he thought that he is the most knowledgeable person at his time. But Allah got him busted. He said to him, what are you talking about? He said, there is someone more knowledgeable than me. He said, sure. Al-Khadr. Then Allah, he sent him in a mission. You know, he told him to take with him a fish, which is a whale. And when you lose the whale, as you see, the story is just, I mean, it's, it's not even good for a cartoon. And when they arrived to the fountain of youth, they did not notice that this is the fountain of youth. So they, like, uh, the water touched uh, the fish or the whale. Then the whale uh, start running in the land until it, it, uh, it reach the ocean and jump in the ocean. And Moses and his uh, boy, they did not notice that the whale is gone until they reach different location and they want to eat. Any Muhammadan? 
the Quran teach wisdom. As you see, this is no wisdom here. This is stupid stories. Do you, do you think this is a wisdom? I mean, look at the wisdom. This guy, he took a ship and then he made a hole in the ship. Al Khadr. Musa says to him, Why you are you making a hole? We will, we will, we will sunk, you know. And then. Uh, a group of pirates they show up and they look at the ship and they found that there's a hole in it so they decide not to take it we I mean, look at the stupidity why because it's sinking but but it's go it's sinking then so did you save the ship or you, or you didn't i mean what is how this is stupid so imagine there's a pirate they are going to take my boat and what i do i open a big hole in the boat And then the pirate, they look at the uh, at the hole in the boat. And they say, oh, this boat is sinking. We will not take it. So, and according to the story, the boat continue. <laughs> so that's mean the hole was so small. That's mean the pirate are fool. What is the wisdom here? If the, if the hole is big, that will explain why they refuse to take it out of the boat. If the hole is so small, that will not explain why they refuse to take the boat. Any Mohammedan? Again, my Skype is open. If you'd like to join us, feel free. Anyone? If you have uh, your uh, TikTok, you can join us in TikTok. We have a new account there. We just opened it like 36 hours ago. And now we have how many? Let us see. 1,300. Okay. And we have only two videos there. I will make a video maybe later. <coughs> Any Mohammedan? <coughs> Actually, I wasn't planning to come here now because I have some really heavy duty physical work to do. But now we have a very bad uh, heat, uh, sorry, uh, heat wave in USA. Um, and it's really already hot in the morning. Imagine in the morning, it's hot. That never happened. All right. Can you teach, teach to tell the time of 24 hour clock? I don't know what does that mean, Kate. Create a Twitter account, and not as, as long as they own it, those liberals. That was, I had a before account, and I have, I don't know, 30,000, 40,000, and I deleted myself. I deleted my Facebook, I deleted my uh, Twitter, I deleted all those, you know, because they are a headache. And I cannot post anything anyway. Whatever you post, they take it away. You see, those satanic platforms, they side always with the evil. Always. Imagine once I was arguing with the Muhammadan, he was claiming that's uh, angels have to be white because black is evil. So I was saying to him, uh, like, if there's any proof of that, he answered me saying, have you ever seen an angel is black? Imagine Facebook gave me a warning, not the Muslim. Do you see how perverted they are? They gave me a warning, not the Muslims, who, in, who insist that the black one is the evil one. And I am the one saying, being evil have nothing to do with being black or white. The filthy Facebook, they gave me a warning, they deleted my answer, and they forbid me from answering, I think, to post for, for a week or something. Pervert. If you post a porn video 
in Facebook is going to stay there for three weeks, four weeks before they can take it out, if, if they take it off. Women, they post pictures of them almost naked or even naked, but my post will disappear in five minutes. And you know, you never know, even there, here they might block us too, you never know. I mean, all of them, they are pervert. But it doesn't matter. We are consistent and we never give up and we are, we are winners. You know, actually the reason we are blocked because we are saying something nobody dare to say and we are hurting the devil and we are saying the truth. Otherwise, okay, he says something, refute him. As long as guys are stupid, it's easy to get him busted. Uh, uh, I made the, this uh, discord, but I found it very confusing. People, they start talking. It's like a bathroom. People, they join and start hearing voices. Everybody can take the mic. You know, there's no control of it. It's very weird, this uh, discord thing. Uh, I hope that some conservative, you know, like now they are talking about Elon Musk or Musk, whatever his name. But this guy is not conservative, but he is maybe better than them. But you never know, maybe after own the company, he will do the same. You see, for me, all those companies, they are going to die. All of them. Uh, I don't want to talk about uh, finance or money, but anyone who invests his money in such a stupid website, he is not smart. Because you see, uh, the technology moves so fast. Like a few years ago, the one in the top was YouTube, right? And Twitter. And, and now they are dying. This is why they are sitting. Did you ask yourself why Twitter are sitting? They're, why is somebody here have a gold in mind and he is going to sell it? Because they are dying. They have the real numbers there. The numbers of people using their platform is dying. It's slowing down. And now we have this TikTok. And TikTok will kill you too. As soon as TikTok make live streaming like YouTube and give more money to those who they join, YouTube will be gone. Pretty simple. <laughs> and then another company will come and will kill TikTok. <laughs> uh... Yeah, well, this mask, he is not smart, really. I mean, he's a smart, uh, let us say, uh, we can't say he's not smart uh, in, uh, in making money because obviously he did very successful, you know. Uh, but it was not a smart decision to go and buy Twitter. And when now they start giving him like access to information, he found out that a Twitter is not a Twitter, it's, it's, it's a tweet. They have a lot of false accounts and they don't have the same, they don't have the same number of users as they claim. Which means the value, this is why he is trying to not renegotiate the price because the value is not the same. If you say to me inside the box there's 25 apples and then I find that there's 15 apples. So why I would pay for the same price? Anyway, not our topic. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? May they, may they, may they. My advice for people who have little saving, never invest in something you cannot hold in your hand. Never. Stocks, you cannot hold in your hands. You might go bankrupt tomorrow. Very risky. People, because of their greed, they go and they start putting, like, uh, you know, this is what the scam is about. Scam is somebody promising you to have a very fast money. And why he promised you such a promise? Because he wants to take your money. He will not pay you anyway. So you have a dream. You want to be rich. You look at uh, those rich people. You want to be like them. So you have $10,000. Oh, I will buy stock. And those 10000 will became one hundred, And then the one hundred they will become a million. And then the million, they will become 10 million. And then in two years, 10 years from now, I will become a millionaire. 
And then you find yourself a week after totally bankrupt because of your greed. If you ask me if you have money, buy a property, buy land, you know, buy something you can, you can have. Don't buy something you can lose value, like cars. You know, when you buy a car, you are losing money, you are not making money. Because your car, after you buy it, if you try to return it back to the same store, you should not even take it from the place. Let us say you, you bought it from them, it's still in the store. You say, okay, I want to send it back to you. They will take a couple of thousands out of the price right away from the spot. Um, anyway. Invest in gold and land. I don't think investing in gold is a good idea. Because where you are going to put your gold? If you are saying to me, I invest in gold through a bank and your, uh, your gold is there, you know, yeah, those banks, they can play games and they are the one who can change the price of the gold to make you lose what you made. You see, any market is not the control, is in the hand of somebody else. This is what the stock market they do. They take your money and you give them permission to use it and you buy a stock. Then they call you and they say, we think it's going to go down. We are going to, we should sell. Oh, you say, okay, sell, 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 you know. And then they say to you, we thought it's going to, but the fact, they are the one who move the selling and the buying so they can make their own profit. You lose, they make money. The stock market broker never lose money. He make money, always. You lose. Invest in oil, but as you see, you are in a stupid time where we have uh, liberals. So you invest, uh, let's say you invest $100,000 in oil. Then you got liberals. They shut down the oil. <laughs> you see, we have, uh, we, you don't have a, con yeah, like, uh, a consistent government in USA. You have a government, they take over and then they move 180 degrees from the other government. Totally the opposite. One, he want to make oil and the other one, he don't want oil. So you invest in oil for four or five years and then you get Biden. Biden, he destroy everything you dream, you dream of. So if you invest in oil, at least you have to have a consistent government where they believe that oil is important and we should keep it. But not in USA. Uh, With Russia and Ukraine war, go, you know, uh, uh, gold is uh, uh, good. No, no, there's nothing. No, there's no such a thing. As long you don't have the gold you are talking about, you don't have it. And if you have it, you put it home. Somebody will kill you and take it. And if you leave it in the bank, they are playing the game. Anyway. I believe the biggest investment, the best, is always land. Never, never, and never buy when it's expensive. Buy when it's uh, cheap. Always when you make money, buy when people sell. Buy when people sell, which means there's too many sales, and that will make the price go down. And sell when people buy. This is you, and this is how you make money. <laughs> Anyway, any Abdul? And you see, if you want to learn how to do business, learn from Allah. Maybe you can, you know, get, you know, you have some skills. You can do your own scam. As an example, you claim to be a prophet. That's a very good business. And then you tell your people who you convince them that you are a prophet. Uh, who want to give uh, Allah a good mortgage? Have you ever heard of a god he begged for money? Scam. This kind of scam is 100% pro profitable. You don't pay tax. You People respect you everywhere. It's a profit. Once I saw... Uh, I was like, uh, uh, I did a, I did a, uh, a conference, like a, a seminar, 
And this hall, it's a big place. So they, like, they can host many seminars at the same time. So it's like a place of conferences. Uh, when, when people, they have a break, they have like a buffet, and you go there, and all those people from different seminars, doesn't matter what it is, they meet in that buffet. So I went there, and uh, a lady, she was next to me, and she said, uh, oh, I heard you speaking, you have an accent, where are you from, etc. You know, And I, I said, well, I am doing a seminar here. Um, she said, you should join our seminar, we have a prophet, and she named his name, Prophet. I said, he's a prophet? I said, yeah, he's a prophet. So, oh, wow. Where is the guy? Where's the prophet you are talking about? You know? She said, oh, he's there. Look, he is there. The prophet is wearing a very nice suit. You can tell it's very expensive. Big golden rings in his hands. Uh, he, he looked like, uh, you know, like an actor, you know? He have an open t-shirt in his chest. He's wearing gold. Uh, I mean, he have a this guy. He just came from the salon. He have a hairstyle, and he said, "Oh, I can tell he's a prophet." I told her, as I know, prophets are people who they are humble. Uh, they ride maybe a donkey. They don't wear expensive clothing. They sleep in the desert. So why did, what make this guy a prophet? She'll get upset. She, you know, she look at me and she like she get really upset. So this is a business. Learn from Muhammad. And then you can make verses. Any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so I can sleep with her. So you make money for free, tax free. You sleep with women for free. And you are rich. And you don't do anything. You just tell them God said. That's all. And trust me, you will find always a stupid person or maybe millions to follow you. But I assure you that. They will follow you, they will, you know, you, you see this woman, how she got upset because I, I asked her a question about how he's a prophet and he's wearing such a fancy clothing, the shoes, that he have a bracelet in his hand, what is that? He looked like, uh, what is his name, this guy, American uh, uh, singer? Uh, I forgot the name. Did Muhammad in the Termidi predict mobile? My friend Muhammad predicted everything. <laughs> Guys, Muhammad, he predicted the mobile. Okay, well, what we can say? So Muhammad, he predicted the mobile, but he could not find out where the sperm of the man is coming from. <laughs> and where in the hadith there is about mobile according to Muhammad he claimed that the hour would not come until like uh, 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 the, the lions they speak to human or like animals but then Muhammad himself in his time he spoke to the lizard he spoke to the rocks he spoke to the trees What does have there have to do with the mobile? Where's the mobile? A guy, he speak to those uh, things, he tie his shoes with it. Those things will talk to you. What is that? This is you know, silly. Like we can open the hadith if, it's, if the website is there, but there's, the website is not working. I don't know if it's up now. Muhammad, he spoke to the lizard, he spoke, even, even he saluted the rocks, and the, road salute, the rocks, they salute him back. Assalamu alaikum, O Messenger of Allah. Rocks. Muhammad was a humble man. Uh, you know, what the word humble mean? What exactly the word humble mean? Humble is somebody is down to earth, right? He don't favor himself upon others. 
he don't give himself a privilege. But everything about Muhammad is about privilege. Privilege of the booty, privilege of the money, privilege of the women, privilege of sex, privilege of even in heaven. Everything about him is a privilege to the point he claimed that Allah, if not him, Allah will not create the whole universe. We just mentioned this hadith yesterday, right? Let me see if I can open it again. Everything about Muhammad is a privilege. <clears throat> okay, look like the website is working now. They fix it, that's good. Uh, according to Muhammad, and look how humble he is. He said, if not me, Allah, he said, Allah will not create the whole universe. If not me, Muhammad, Allah did not create the whole universe. Here we go, we found it. So do you see how humble he is? What is the first thing Allah he did when he created, uh, 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 when he cre created his chair? He started writing the name of Muhammad on the chair. I mean, do you see even how humble he is? This guy, he claimed that Allah, the first thing he did in his uh, starting creation, and I do not know why Allah didn't have a chair at that time. But he decided to have a chair. What the first thing Allah he did when he got the chair? He started writing the name of Muhammad. Is that what the humble person he say? That the God of the universe, the first thing he did when he made his chair, he started doing graffiti? <laughs> and here you ask yourself, how silly uh, Allah is? So now he made a chair right away. Oh, this chair is missing something. Let me write there. There's no God but Allah. And there's no prophet but Muhammad. What the heck is that? You know, when we talk about God, we are talking about the one who created the massive universe. The whole earth is not even in the size of a dust compared to the massive universe. So who is Muhammad to write in his name under the chair of Allah? And why Allah is busy writing his name? Yasin means God Yasin. Yasin, sin, is the moon god. Ya is a word meaning God. Uh, the guy, his name is a club. My friend, stop whining, otherwise I will block you. If you want to text me, text me in Skype, and I have no text from you. And now let us fix this problem. Give me your name in Skype, I will find you. And I will call you right away. If you don't give me your name in Skype in five minutes from now, I will block you. You keep coming here, you whine like, like a rabbit giving birth, making ugly noise. You never text me, you never call me, and you never give me your Skype name so I can call you. So this is a warning for you. I'm waiting for you to post your Skype name. I will find your Skype and I will call you. Right now. My friend Suleiman insisted him to call you. He said he heard you, but he is not knowledgeable to debate you. It's okay. I mean, the other person, at least, he is honest.
Any Mohammedan? The only Muslim who called me is Ultimate Fort. And Ultimate Fort, yesterday he called me and he says, Allah, he caused the death of the Prophet. Everybody heard it. And that alone is a disaster. He called me supposed to prove me wrong, but he proved me right. Because if Allah is the one who caused the death of Muhammad, you see, the second you say cause, it's mean it wasn't time. He caused. Why he caused his death? Any Abdul? Arabian Club? Arabian Cup? His name in Skype? You know, in Skype, to find you easy, let me try. But in Skype, there's a unique name. I think it's like a number or something. Uh, but anyway, let me look. Arabian Cup. I found Arab, Arab Cup. I found the three names only. Uh, it says it says more. Well, how I know which one is you? What is the picture in your profile? Because none of them, there's Arab Cup. You see, this is the name I told you, it's the unique name. So here you will see as an example, it says life, and there's two dots, Arabian.cup. Is that you? Is that you? If yes, say yes, and I will text you right away. Let us try. I just sent a text to Arab Cup. <clears throat> so give me your name. Stop playing games. So what I will do now, I will keep texting everybody have a similar name there. Listen, Abdul. In your profile, there's a unique name. As you see, like this person, Arabian Cup, a no. Here it says, the uh, gear give, give location. This guy, uh, if you click at his profile, let us see, you know, it's going to give you different information about you, about your location, about your. Uh, uh, your account uh, link. Any Mohammedan? Desert Cup? Not Arabian Cup. So now he changed it? Desert Cup. Okay, let's search for Desert Cup. What a drama. Well, there is many Desert Cup. Which one? It doesn't even show one. Is that you? Cube? I'm losing my patience with you. So I will give you a link. I will give you an opportunity to post your name correctly. Otherwise, I will block you. I have no time for stupidity and childish uh, talk. And why you cannot text me? Everybody can text me. Lion face? Okay, let me give you a face now. I will send you, I will send you what you deserve. Obviously, you are just a kid making games. Get out. Boy in face. Uh, 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, I blocked him anyway. But even when the Muslim they do trolling, they help us. Because this is showing us who is the one who follow Muhammad. As you see, those people they believe. And they say to you that we don't worship Muhammad. But if you insult Muhammad, we will kill you. Right? We don't worship Muhammad. But if you insult Muhammad, we will kill you. And Muhammad is a servant of Allah. But Allah himself, he is serving Muhammad. And Allah himself salute Muhammad. And Allah himself, he built the whole universe for Muhammad. Why Allah created Jesus for Muhammad? Who is saying so? Muhammad. The reference in front of you. Why Allah created Adam for Muhammad? The reference in front of you. Musa was created for Muhammad. Everything created for Muhammad. Anyone? Someone saying, explain Luke 23. Well, uh, my friend, we have a topic. The topic is Islam, so we are not here talking about the Bible. Don't mix between holiness and garbage. Any Muhammadan? If not Muhammad, Allah have no chair, Allah have no furniture. Allah have no place, Allah is homeless. If not Muhammad, there is no Adam, there is no Isa, there is no Musa, there is no Abraham, there is no mosquitoes, there is no cockroaches, there is no pigs, there is no donkeys, there is no angels. All of this is because of Muhammad, brother. And they say to you, Muhammad was a humble man. I mean, do you see how humble he is? If the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they can't even say his name without saying Allah pray on him and salute him, had remained non-existence, then the universe would not have to come to be. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, I'm going to be humble today. Guys, if I am not exist, you will never see Donald Trump. If I am not exist, YouTube will not be created. If I'm not exist, USA is not exist. Russia is not exist. Your country is not, yourself, your is not exist. Your father, your mother, I'm very humble. And do you see how humble he is? The whole universe is exist because of Muhammad. Why? Who is he? It is because of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the word was brought from non-existence to existence. Look at this. How you can beat that? I mean, let us be serious. How you can beat such a knowledge? The word came to existence from non-existence because of Muhammad. But Muhammad wasn't exist. So how the universe was made for the sake of Muhammad, but Muhammad at that point does not even exist. If not Muhammad, porn channels are not exist. You want the link? Okay, I will give you the link. I'm a very humble person. I will give you the link. Any Abdul? You see how he's uh, very humble? And if you read more, you will see. Uh, I mean, the stories, is, the, the list of references is really long. Jibreel came to Prophet of Allah 
And he said, I have not created anyone who is more honored to me. He want to say than you. I have created the world and that all is their end. So they may know the rank that you possess. Okay, why cockroaches they exist? Because they want to know the rank of Muhammad. What do you think, Muhammadans? And they say to you, Muhammad was humble. I mean, Muhammad is so humble like uh, Trump. Trump, when he talk about himself, if not me, I am the one who, I mean, this guy, he kept repeating what he do, what he can do, what he cannot even do. Even what he cannot do, he proud about it. So uh, well, Trump is way more humble than Muhammad. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Okay. Why the symbol of Islam is the moon? The most time they say this is have nothing to do with us worshiping the moon, and they will give you a verse from the Quran that says, "Don't worship the moon." But the fact, the moon god is not worshiping the moon. The moon god is the god of the moon, not the god. The moon itself is a god. So when they show you this, this is a this is a, a, a deception, because. Those who worship the moon god, they are not worshiping the moon. The god of the sun is not the sun. There's God for the moon, and there's God for the sun, which means the one who controls the sun and the one who controls the, the, the moon. Yeah, I mean, whatever Trump he say, but yeah, but we have to admit, I mean, this guy he is so he's like a balloon. He you know he, he cannot stop praising himself. Uh, can you tell me about Baal Simple? You see, always you want to debate Muslims. Like now you are talking about history and studying ancient uh, mythology, but I advise you before you go to that point. To arm yourself with knowledge about the cult itself and what the Muslims believe. Not what you believe. So when you debate the Muslims about their belief, it works better. And then if you want to go in deep studies, like in ancient time, etc., you can compare between Baal and... But this is usually happened for those who they are like, uh, decide to go deeper in knowledge and study harder. Maybe you want to have a degree or something. But if you, uh, uh, like, you know, you, you speak about Baal uh, Simple. A Muslim, he will say to you in, in two minutes, well, yeah, in Baal Simple, there is a, a moon, crescent moon. But what does this have to do with us? We have nothing to do with this. In fact, if you go in the Quran, you will see that the, there is a competition between the God of Islam and, the, and Baal. And the Quran confirmed that Baal is a creator. But Allah is a better creator. And this is the verse. Chapter 37, verse Uh, how much money was paid? Well, there is details in the books of Tafsir and the books of Sirah about them. And he paid for, this is called Al-Mu'allaf al which means those with their heart can be bought. And this is, uh, uh, th those are the one who became the caliphate of Islam in the state of uh, uh, Umayyah, Bani Umayyah. Those are aggressive 
warriors who refuse to accept Islam, but they love money. They are, let's say, criminals. Muhammad, he could not convince them to join Islam by war. He cannot even fight them. He made them convert to Islam by giving them shares in the booty. He wanted to show them, what is the benefit if you join me? Let me show you. So the Quran speak about it with no shame that Muhammad, he paid people to convert to Islam. So Muhammad, he claimed that the arms are, are for the poor and the needy. That sound good. And those employed to administrator, you know, okay. And those who his heart have been recent, re recently, between two bracket, reconciled to the truth. If you go and read the interpretation for this, you will find that those people, they don't want to accept Islam. But Muhammad was able to convince them that I will give you shares from every attack and I will favor you. I will give you shares I did not give to anyone else. So he bought their hearts. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Uh, Mr. Futek Lan, why you don't, my friend, text me in Skype and call me and tell me what do you want to say about Jonas and about Luke? As long as you are smart and you are not a potato, do you dare to call me and tell me what it says about Jonah and what it says in Luke? So people can laugh with you. We want everybody to say ha ha ha. Not only you saying ha ha, not fair, my friend. So what do you think for the clan? Hmm? Answering Christianity website, you know, this guy, he, I made him shish kebab many times. And even the one who wrote the article, they asked him to take down his, his, their articles from his website, but he refused. Even the one who wrote the articles, now they, they notice that they are stupid. And they asked him to take the articles, but he refused, just to have a website. And by the way, this guy is a hacker, so if you go to his website, he can hack you. He have a he have degree in uh, in uh, IT, and uh, so be careful. And the same guy, he made a false email. Imagine how stupid he is. He made a false email. Claiming that other Muslims a threat to kill him. And he published it online. Then the other guy, he decided to take it to different level, so he went to the police. And when they investigate him, he admitted that he fabricated the email. The owner of this website. And then the other Muslim, he told him, you have to acknowledge that he lied and apologize publicly in order for him to drop his charges. This is how stupid he is. Liars. Uh, foot uh, clan, you know, just, just get out. There is way there is different words of Jesus. No, there is no different words of Jesus. Everybody, he report what he heard. People are in different places, different location. There's a crowds of tens of thousands. 
but there's no different words of Jesus. There is somebody was in the front of my door room. There is somebody was in the room. There was somebody was in the front of my house door. I walked through those three doors, and each one of them he heard me saying something. Yeah, three words of Jesus. And if we have a three words of Jesus, why are you stupid Quran confirming the word of Jesus and asking the Christian to follow the word of Jesus? Isn't it Jesus your Quran? Isn't it this is your stupid Quran? So as long as there's many different words of Jesus, this is 600 years after Jesus, and your city Quran says, you Christians, you have a clear book and a good book, confirming what is with you. So how come your prophet did not say, how come Jesus have different words? You Muslim today, you became smarter, and your stupid God, he was a stupid. So he said to them, confirming what is with you, and this is what is with them. The one you are making fun of. Potato. Bugs. Be a man and call me so we can laugh. And what make it more funny that the Muslim, they keep saying the Bible is corrupt. And the Quran, the stupid Quran, keeps saying the Bible is not. I mean, they go even against their book. Oh, it's confirming what is with us, what is with us, not what was with us. Based on this stupid book, 600 years after Jesus, the Bible never changed. But by that time, the Bible is all over. It's in India, it's in Ethiopia, it is in Greece, it is in Europe, it's all over the place. Which means it's not a book to change, it's a, it's a hundred of thousands of books. Very silly, very, you know, the kids, I mean, there's no dignity. How come he, Jesus, he says different words in the cross? How come? Hey, my friend, just to show you how silly you are, isn't it the Quran confirmed that even Jesus was seen in the cross? So, what's the point? There's no accuracy? Will the Quran confirm the accuracy? The Quran confirmed that everybody saw Jesus on the cross. Because the whole point of what you are saying, well, if Jesus was on the cross, then the story is wrong. Right? But the Quran confirmed that they saw Jesus on the cross. Yeah, and there is one of you who asked me a question. And the question was that um, uh, uh, this person saw um, a Muslim women channel saying that there is two Jesus, there was two Jesus in the cross. And look, you know, some people, they are sweet bee. You see how the question came in, sweet bee. Someone on Dawa Girls channel is really confusing everything up by suggesting that there was to Jesus on the cross, the one that was free to go was the real Jesus. But this is just to show you how stupid the one who said the question and the one who get confused. Isn't it, this is the stupid Quran saying that the Jews we killed Jesus, the son of Mary. So let us say there is two Jesus in the cross, but the Jews they said we killed Jesus, the son of Mary, the prophet of Allah. What more we need to confirm? <laughs> so let us say there's two guys, their name is Muhammad. But one of them, his, his mother is not Mary. He is not the prophet of Allah and he's the Christ. Here they are confirming. We killed who? Christ. Not just someone, his name is Jesus. And then, after Christ they say, Jesus. But who is this Jesus? He is the son of Mary. So do we need more details to prove that it was him? So when they say to you, give them the answer, it's very easy, and they are showing them how stupid they are, because this is against the Quran. What is, the what is missing here is the social security of Jesus. 
me what is left he's a christ is Jesus is the son of Mary and then they say to you well there was two Jesus in the cross use your brain if you have any and what the verse confirmed that we saw Jesus and this is what we believed which means we are telling the truth and you know the the video of Amron Sheikh Amron he said it clearly that if you were there, if we, we as a Muslims, we were there, we will have the same conclusion. If we were there, and he is talking about the Muslims, not us, we, all of us, we will have the same conclusion that Jesus really died on the cross. And by the way, here we ask ourselves, how come Allah, he failed to mention that there was two Jesus on the cross? You are smarter than Allah? That means you are to follow the Bible, because your book is short of knowledge. وَإِنَّهُ لَعَلَمٌ لِسَّانِ He is the sign of the last hour. This makes perfect sense. He is the sign of the last hour. But someone put in the diacritical marks instead of alamun ein alif, lam alif, nun dama, alamun put ilmun. And this is wrong. Human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. We killed him. The Messiah, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, we killed him. In fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. And you will Did you hear it? In fact, if you and I were there, we will come to the conclusion that he is, in fact, he died. This is your shake. So all the argument against the crucifixion of Jesus is a stupid argument. You have a person who never witnessed Jesus. He never even speak the language of, of the, the Hebrew. He never been in that country. And then he says to you, it was not Jesus. But the Quran confirmed that it was someone exactly looked like Jesus. And Allah made it appear to them. Do we have any Abdul? And this is the fault shake. And the far shake, he confirmed that Jesus, he knew the knowledge, he knew the hour. To hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, wa innahu la'ilmun lisa'a, according to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa alayhi salam has the knowledge of the hour. By the way, this guy, after I made the video about what he said, right away, second day, he took off his video. But it's too late. We got the important part. Any Mohammedan? Who is a Mohammedan would like to give us a call and share with us some information about his religion? We can share the topic for you, no problem. We can talk as an example about what uh, Ultimate Fort he said yesterday, that those who believe in the Hayd are donkeys, according to him. So we said to him, Sheikh Uthman believe in the Hayd. He's a donkey. Zakir Naik believe in the Hadith. The dad, the, all of them they believe in that. He's a donkey. He said only donkeys believe in the Hadith. So what is, what is your religion exactly, Muslims? Why this religion is so confused to the point they don't even know what, the, what to follow? Any Mohammedan? You will notice they come in the chat, they are text uh, heroes. But nobody will call us, nobody will give us a Skype. 
And we ask them, why you don't give us a shake, Skype? I will call him. If you know somebody, he is a shake, and you think he have answers, give me his Skype, I will call him. You don't call. Let your shake talk to me. And for sure, the shake, he will do good. Because he's a shake, isn't he? Any Mohammedan would like to call us. Anyone? So as you see, Islam is da'if, Hadith is da'if, Quran is da'if, interpretation is da'if. The Prophet was da'if. Even his private part need the uh, a dish made by Allah to fix it. Everything in this religion is daif. Allah is daif. You know, when the Muhammadan they say that Allah he sent 124,000 messengers and only one book was able to be preserved. How daif is that? He's very weak. Imagine there's an author. He keep writing books. Book after book after book after book. And then after writing all those books, he could not preserve one book. Uh, Zainab, she is saying, CP is afraid and block callers. Well, I'm not going to block you, call me Zainab. And as long as your name is Zainab, you remind me of the story of your prophet going to the house of Zainab, flirting with her when she is married. So are you afraid to, to call me and tell me about what Zainab she went through? How the decent prophet of Allah, he flirted with Zainab, Mrs. Zainab. Do you like to call me and share with me? What happened to her comment? I was trying to take a, take a snack screenshot, a comment, run away. I hope the admin did not block her. Where is Zainab? So Zainab, why, guys, why, why the message of Zainab was distracted? What happened? Is that from YouTube or from the admin? I mean, the woman, she did not say anything. Why you block her? Those are our customers. I will fire the admin. You, they are more important than you. Zainab, say again, say again. Say again that I am afraid and I block callers. Give me your name in Skype or give me your dad the name in Skype or your shake. I will call him right away. Let us see who is the ones afraid. Give the name in the front of everybody. Huh? And I will call right now. She restricted herself. Oh, okay. That's a good thing. Uh, she did not like her comment when because now we will talk about Zainab. What an embarrassment. Have you ever heard of a God? He tell a man, he's a prophet of God. Why you are telling the man to keep his wife when you love to F her? What the heck? Are you there, Zainab? You better change your name. How many men they have you, Zainab? First you went with Zaid. Then in the hadith it says that after Allah Messenger, he flirted with Zainab. Each time Zaid, he tried to have sex with her, Allah, he made his penis swell. So why we don't get the Muslims to call me and let us see if who's afraid? This is a miracle, by the way, because not everyone can make somebody else penis swell. Hmm? And I will show you the reference. I will make you read it from your book with the page number, with the volume, and from very trustworthy and sahih. And from the mouth of Zainab. What say you?
I mean, even the miracles of Allah is about penises. And you know, like the first question you ask yourself, why does God he want to make the penis of the husband uh, swell? Why? This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, very number 14, page number 189. See, we are not the same as the Muhammad, and they make accusation by blah, blah, blah. And here they are talking in Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari, according to the Turmuzi, Sahih Turmudi, blah, 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 blah. And then it says here, And Zaydan tawarrama dhalika minhu hina arada an yaqrabaha. So Zayd, when he didn't, he wanted to have sex with her, Allah, he made his penis as well. Who mentioned that? This is coming from Zainab. What a beautiful religion. The God, he don't want anyone to have sex with this woman, even if she is married to her husband, even the husband. He tried to get close to her to do boom, boom. Allah, he made his penis as well. Isn't this a beautiful Miracle? How many gods they made the penis of the husband swell? No, but no gods. Only Allah. That's it. Allah, he said, you know what? I'm not going to let anyone to do boom boom to her except you, Muhammad. She is preserved. Muhammad, he went to the, you know, in the airport to rent a car. They told him, well, you know what? We are out of cars. We have only Zainab and now she is being rented. <laughs> this is a religion. He made his penis as well. And this is the decent wife of Muhammad later, she is saying that. She is talking about how Allah, he made the, her husband penis as well. And if his penis as well, I mean, I don't want to go in details. So does that mean he cannot use it no more? It's like very painful. Oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. Sorry, husband. I thought I can do something to it. No, don't touch it, okay? I feel sorry for this guy. Zayd. How he can even wear his clothes? And how big it became? I guess Zainab now she will go change her name. Any Abdul? And look how decent this prophet, he go to the house of the women, and when the husband is not there, look how decent he is. Why are you going there when the husband is not there? Oh, because at that time he is a, consider his father. So he is considered as his father at that time, and he flirted with the wife of his own son? I mean, do you see how evil he is? Imagine my son is married to a woman, and then I go to the house when the, my son is out, and I flirt with his wife. Very decent. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And uh, in case you do not know, we have other channels like Christian Prince. So in order not to be surprised, like maybe we'll stop soon here going live, or stop there going live, so subscribe to Patreon. You don't have to make a donation. We will post the link there where we are going to go live and you will be uh, notified immediately. Zainab poisoned Muhammad. I don't care who poisoned Muhammad. What I care for that he died by poison. I mean, the one who killed him is not here to send him flowers. But what the important is, that Muhammad died by poison, cheap poison. And the Muslims, they are really in chaos, trying to defend the situation. You know, we just made a video in, in uh, uh, TikTok, short video, a minute and a half. And we post it in, uh, in YouTube too, I don't know if you saw it. The question is, why Allah, he saved Jesus, and he did not save Muhammad? Any Muslim can answer, nobody can answer it. I mean, look how horrible, stupid this religion is. So we have a God, 
He created the whole universe for Muhammad. He wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. If not Muhammad, Allah will not create the universe. If not Muhammad, Allah did not create Adam. If not Muhammad, Allah did not create anything. And then we find that Muhammad died by poison like a rat. If not Muhammad, Allah did not create the universe. If not Muhammad, Allah did not create this and that. Abraham, Moses, everybody. And then Allah, after all this love, he let his prophet die because of poison from Walmart. At least get from Amazon. You know, when Muslims, they flag my videos, they think uh, I will go away. I will do the opposite, actually. I will write even books. You see, all, uh, all what I did, including writing books, it was because the Muslims, they made me really angry. So you debate with a sheikh. The sheikh, he will say to you, as long as you claim that you are very knowledgeable, why, how come you don't have any book? I said to myself, man, that's, that's a good point. I'm not knowledgeable unless I have books. Let me write books then. <laughs> Then I write the books, and then the same sheikh, he speak to me again. He said to me, do you think because you have books, you are knowledgeable? What the, what the heck? So if I don't write books, I am not knowledgeable. And when you write the books, they say to you, do you think because you have books, you are knowledgeable? And how many books your prophet you wrote? I have many. Officially, we have copyright over them. Even people who do master degree, they are taking quotation from my books and they are asking permission for PhD and a master degree to use them. Your prophet don't even know how to write, how to read. And that explained why he did not. He was died by poison. He did not read the label. I told him, Muhammad, learn how to write, how to read. If he knew how to write, how to read, he will read the label. It says this is poisoned. But he did not know how to write, how to read. The Jewish woman, even, she put a sticker there in the goat, says this is poisoned. But because she knew that Muhammad did not know how to write, to read, I mean, she did not even take the sticker of the poison. It's still there from the store. Is this a recording? We can record it and that will make it recording. I remember once I have a, a friend, actually he is, his name, his real name is Abdul. I'm not making fun. His real name is Abdul. He called me once and he says, come to the store. You are giving nice food for free, canned food for free. I said, what? Really? He said, yeah. You can take as many as you want. I asked him. I said, well, I'm not going to go all the way there. Now, he live in a different area. So uh, a week after, I went to his house. I said, uh, he said to me, hey, hey let, me, let me show you the food I got. I said, oh, show me. Okay. So he have like, he, st he stuffed his kitchen with canned, canned food. And then he grabbed some of them and he gave me. I said, it says this is for animal used only. Yeah, they said, Abdul, this is food for cats and dogs. What well, they are giving it for free. It's not for human. In the phone, I speak to him all the week. You should see how tasty. Just add lemon with it. I did add garlic with this one. And I was saying, what are you, me? you know? So, okay, well, I'm not lucky, you know, to get the food for free as you did, you know. Uh, he lived in a different area, far away. And then we found that it was cat and dogs. Food. The same guy, he's, very, he's a very nice person, by the way. He's a Muslim, but he's a very nice person. He's not like those you see. Very, very good. A very nice person. Uh, he went to a club. He drank. You know, he went to a club. And then in the club, somebody, he put his hand. He told me, in this club, we were walking. He said, in this club, uh, don't go there because they will try to steal your wallet. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, what happened? 
Just when I was in the club, someone, he put his hand over my back pocket. I said, really, Abdul? He said, yeah. I said, Abdul, don't you see it says gay club? He said, what, so? It's a gay club. This guy is not staying your wallet. He's touching your ass. He said, and I look at him, and I moved his hand, and he put it again. <laughs> he said, what? I said, yeah. Did he take your wallet? He said, no. I said, this is what he's doing. He is not taking, trying to take it. He said, I said, you were sitting next to him, right? In the, in the bar? He said, yeah. I said, okay. And what he did? He said he got a closer and he moved his hand slow. He put it uh, over my uh, pocket, in the back pocket. I said, Abdul, he is not touching your pocket. He don't want the pocket. He is touching your ass. <laughs> and look at the sign there. It says gay club. So it's obvious. He is, is you are, you know, when you enter the, the yard, it's like you're a gay. So he is trying to get a girlfriend. <laughs> he was a very nice guy. And actually, in his in his graduation, his family, uh, the government they uh, confiscate his uh, their wealth. You know, his father was a really rich man. He still have money, but he cannot move it. He cannot touch it. So I paid for his graduation ceremony, the fees. I paid for his uh, uh, suit. I paid for the rent of his apartment for the last three or four months. And it took him after that more than three to four years to pay me back. But he paid me. I felt really sorry for him. I mean, he is, he is coming from a, a, a wealthy family and suddenly he, he have nothing. He cannot, he cannot receive money. He cannot receive anything. Uh, so do we have any Muhammadan here? No, he's a very, he's a very friendly, he is a, a very, but he's very naive too, you know, very naive. Once we went to the beach, this guy is horrible. I mean, when it comes to his naive act, so he went to the beach and then he come to the school. We went in the weekend. So he said, like he told them, uh, yesterday we went to the, uh, you know, to the, uh, he, he want to say the beach, but he said the bitch. So we went to the beach and we spent the whole day there, me and him, etc. And we spent the whole day for free. We did not even pay a, a penny. So I went to the school and people, they are looking at me and there's a, there's a girl, she walked next to me. She said, I thought you are different. I said, what the heck? What happened? Whatever I walk, people, they look at, they are talking about, uh, I mean, what? They look at me and, and this guy, he go and he say, I swear by Allah. I swear by Allah, we went to the beach. And we spent the whole day for free. And they said to him, Abdul, are you sure for free? He said, I swear by Allah for free. We did not even pay for parking. <laughs> and when that girl, she said to me, I thought you are different. And she is upset. And she walked next to me. And said, what happened? You know? And then other guy, he said to, to me, he said, ah, well, yeah, you know, we know what you guys doing in the weekend. He said, what do we do? He said, he told us. I said, okay, so? He said, the whole day? Three of you? Said, Three of us? I said, yeah. He said, one woman? Said, what woman? He, he, no, Three of us, all day to the, uh, to the bitch. <laughs> one woman? Three of you? <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? What woman? He said, well, Abdul, he told everybody. It's what he told you. He said that, you know, in the weekend you went uh, and, you know, you uh, a bitch, you know, and uh, three of you at the same time. He said, we went to the beach, not bitch. He said, what? He said, we went to the beach. We spent the whole day outside in the beach. There's no women with us. There's no girls with us. And then people, they die laughing about what? And then I told him, Abdul, what you told those people? He said, I just told them we went to the beach, you know. I said, you stupid idiot. 
Everybody is talking about us now. Go explain. We did not go to the beach. We go. We went to the beach. <laughs> and you should see people looking at down at us, and you're like, "What the heck is that?" You know. And uh, usually, there's like some, you know, they say good morning. You know, and I don't know what's going on. Like, and the, in the same time, three of us in the same time. Oh boy. Zainab, you want to go to the beach? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> There's a rank without with you about the exact thing you are talking about. Mm. Well, this thing happened long, long time ago. Yeah. More than, what, 15 years ago? Something like, more than 15. 17, 18 years ago. Anyway. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Uh, you know, Lisa, because because you are making the text big for the for the link, I think the link is not active, so people they can't click on it. So you need to correct that. Or was you do that? Let us see. Somebody is calling. I don't know who's that. Oh, this is ultimate fort. It, uh, no, I would not run. But you promised me not to use bad language. Please. I never use bad language till you start cutting. Me okay, off. let us see. So, do you do you yeah, remember where do you remember where we stopped yesterday? Oh yeah. Okay. Everybody so you said to me that Allah He caused the death of Muhammad, correct? No. Why did you take the thing down? Why did you delete it? I delete all my videos. No, you delete that video. My Why? channel and the people they record is is there. Aren't you recording it? No, listen. You said you said you okay. We can repeat the same. No problem. Go ahead. We can repeat the same, and I promise you, we're gonna take it until you download yourself. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, okay. So Allah, He caused the death of the Prophet, correct? Two minutes. Two minutes. Yes. Okay. Can you do that? Okay. How Muhammad died? Okay. God said He terminated His life. God said that. Hmm. I am going to terminate his life the same way he said he's going to terminate Jesus' life. Okay. He terminated Jesus' life. I'm asking, a, I'm asking a question. How he died? What do you mean how he died? I said a very God simple question. How he died? I answered you. God finished his life. God, God how he finished his life? What? 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 You see, you you have been sarcastic. My friend, I am not. I'm asking a serious question. You said Allah caused his death. That's wonderful. He terminated his life. How? There's many ways to terminate life of a person. It can be a, a, an accident. It can be a killing. It can be disease. It can be poison. It can be a heart attack. So how Allah terminated the life of Muhammad? Listen, you're here claiming that he died by poison. I'm, not, I'm not the one claiming. It's the hadith. The hadith is saying so, right? Okay, but if you was if you was smart enough, uh -huh. if somebody if somebody can be can be poisoned and die from that poison four years later, okay. you gotta be stupid. You you have to be stupid. All right. As of, as of today, it cannot happen. Okay. Let me let me answer you. Let me answer you. You just say it. You just say it. You just say it. You just say it that your prophet is a stupid because the one who said that is your prophet. No, my prophet never said that. People uh, what is, what is the proof? This is why I'm asking you how your prophet died then. 300 years. My friend, my friend. As long, as long you are saying this is not what my prophet said. So can you confirm to me how your prophet died? My prophet died by the will of God. His uh, life was How over. he died? He was not, 
it was not by poison for sure. How how you can be sure? Give me okay. Then you, as long you just no, said for sure. Oh, listen, listen. No. As long you are no. saying, as long you are saying for sure, okay. then you have you have to have reference for the sure you bend on. Yeah, so where where the assurance that he did not die by poison? Go ahead. Because that poison you're talking about mm. you, it was said for you happened four years according to your own source. Okay, you just said four, you just said four years. You just said you just said four years. No, we have a conversation. You said four years. This is you know how you know how you know, how you know it's four years. How you know it's four years? You gotta let me. That's what the hadith itself says. Okay, so are you considering the four years, or you don't consider the four years to be true? I, I'm, I'm telling you, if you're telling me something. Yeah. I'm going to show you, according to your own sources, that your source is stupid, that anybody believing it is stupid, and you using it, you are stupid. Mm -hmm. Anybody claiming it is stupid. Okay, hold on. I want to ask you a question. The hadith is mentioned by Aisha. Who's Aisha? I said the had Aisha never, Buhari never met Aisha. I'm asking you, and let me repeat the question. The hadith said, mentioned by Aisha. Who's Aisha? I said... I, Bukhari, have Bukhari ever met my Aisha? Our friend, I'm not, I'm not asking you if you met Aisha or Bukhari met Aisha. I'm saying the hadith it's mentioned that Aisha is the one who said that. Who is Aisha? I said, uh, uh, according, uh, according to the history, Aisha was the wife of the, uh, of the Prophet Muhammad. So if I ask you right now, who is the uh, the first wife of Muhammad? Who is his first wife? I, I, according to the history, it was Hadisha. You keep saying history. So you follow the Quran or you follow history? I said there is history. There's okay. Do you accept the history or you refuse the history? I accept the history. Okay, but the history is the hadith. I no. challenge you. I challenge you to find me one book of history is not a hadith mentioned that Muhammad married Khadija or Mary okay. Aisha or Mary Hafsa or Mary Zainab. Go ahead. Listen to me. The history hmm. is the is the history was there before the Quran. Don't be stupid. This Don't be stupid. I'm asking you. Give me a reference. You are giving me a speech. You are giving me a speech. No, you see, you are in trouble now. How we know that Aisha, she became a wife to Muhammad, you said from history. And that means you approve the history book, which is you are mentioning, otherwise you will not approve it. So now I want you to show me the book of history, which is enough for you to be accept as a book of trustworthy to know who is the wife of Muhammad. Go ahead. Listen to me. The Quran, when it comes to the rules and regulations... And this is not a question. You are changing the topic. I want you to give me the book of history, which you said. You are the one who mentioned to me, book of history. What is the name of the book of history mentioned that Muhammad have a wife? Her name is Khadija. Her, his wife, her name is Zainab. His wife, his name is Aisha. Go ahead. But I know in the Quran, he had wives. God this is not the question. You see, this is why I hang up on you, because I lose my patience. Let me repeat yes. again. Let me repeat again. According to the book of history, this is your, this is your mouth words. I, I'm asking you. Which book of history teaching Mr. Ultimate that this is the name of the wife of Muhammad? Name the book for me. Oh, uh, go to go, go to Google. Uh, Google. The, Google is the book of history. Yes. When I went to Google, I found the Hadith. The only resource is the Hadith. In the book of the Sirah is Hadith. All of them is Hadith. So you are saying to me, go to the book of history because you are a fraud. You don't want to say this is the book of the Hadith. No. Is it, is it Google is going to take us to to uh, to Hadith? Do, 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 do white people uh, uh, write but, 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 but I'm asking you, when I search on Google, who is the wife of the Prophet? Well, I'm going to find the name. I will find it in the Hadith. And you are a liar. You said you don't accept the Hadith. I said, do our white people uh, oh, uh, what, what white? What white? What black now? This is what he to do with the color. Listen, I'm asking you. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I ask you right now, the Quran, we were talking about Zaid and Zainab. So if I ask you, who is Zaid? Can you tell me? Zaid yeah? was the wife married to a woman uh -huh. that 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 Allah said uh, that uh, when he divorced his wife uh -huh. God, the prophet you can marry his wife okay who is Zaid I told you who Zaid is who is he who is he no I'm asking you who is Zaid who's this guy he's a he's he was a companion of the prophet how you know uh, from the Quran how you know where it says he's your companion God said it in chapter. Where it uh, says a companion? No, it says he said to him, he said to him, keep your wife. Doesn't mean he's a companion. This is a prophet. He speaks to all people. He said he is your. Uh, he's a prophet. He speaks and advise all people. So I'm asking you, who is Zaid? Let me give you the reference. Stop lying. Stop mm -hmm. freaking lying. Uh, go Stop ahead. Give me the reference that he was a companion. The verse in the front of you, chapter 33, verse number 37. Yes, but because okay. you went way up to 37. Go, huh? go, 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 go
five six eight because he said you are not he's not go, your son. go what go what go to the very first verse verse five six seven eight why are you okay. in line okay let's see go to the first verses five six seven eight read them read them you read me okay go ahead I will. this I is verse number five where, where it says don't call zaid your son Um, where is it at? Put, uh, put it on the screen. It's in the screen. Oh no, I can't play uh, YouTube at the same time. This Hold is on. verse number five. Tell me which yes, verse what? you want. This is five, six, seven, eight. I will put it for you. Which one? No. Yes. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You're lying. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. And I don't forget know. to download. You promise me. You don't forget to download the video and post it in your channel. We want everybody to love. Go ahead. If you if you did it right away. <laughs> We will see. We will see. Everybody is laughing right now. Now you are in trouble badly. I'm not in trouble. I'm okay, show me where it says that Zaid is a companion. And you mentioned his son. You mentioned his son. Everybody heard you. You're a damn liar. I said his companion, Madhu. You said son? You said son. It's recorded. Companion, it's recorded. You said you said son. Uh, 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 bring it back. It says, it says, you said that it says he is not your son. You said that. Yes, in the in the in the chapter. Okay, you say, okay, no problem. You said he is not your son. Speaking about Zaid, right? Yeah. Where in the Quran it says that this is about Zaid, he is not your son. Go ahead. Chapter. Uh -huh. Alright. Chapter. I said verse five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is verse number five. Read it. Okay. Number four. Number four. Let's go to four. Go ahead. Read it. Okay. He said, "Do not call." Hmm. Do not call other people's kids as your kids. They're not your kids. My friend, you are reading. You are reading the the the, the translation of Rashad Khalifa. This guy, he cut the Quran. There's missing verses. Number four is not what you are reading. It's number five. Penny. Number. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, let me be my class. I can see. Mm. <laughs> Don't fall now. No. Drop. And see, right away, he starts insulting, you see? He, he promised in the beginning not to insult, but I want to hang up on him. Until we finish the shower. Everybody can, Go. Everybody can read you verse. said verse number four, and verse four, number four is not what you are reading. So why you have a different reading? You have a wrong Quran? Uh, listen, I'm not even reading it in, in, in English. I'm reading it in French. No problem. You no problem. You said to me, verse number four, it says, don't call them, don't call them by your sons, right? But this is verse number five. Well, Prof Zanfa, he never made of your adopted sons okay. as your sons. Where is, where is the word adopted in the verse? Now, verse, okay, let me go to the next verse. No, 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 don't go. go. No, no, don't, don't go. Verse one by one. Where it says verse. the word adopted sons. You mentioned, I everybody heard you. You said adopted son. Where do you get this information from? Listen, uh, I uh, listen, no, where do you get the word adopted son from? Anybody that is not your, your biological son. Abdul, I'm asking you, me. where do you get the word adopted son? Is the verse saying adopted son or this is something inserted in the verse? You said yes. you follow, you said you follow Quran only and now everybody heard you saying adopted son. So you already got, you, where do you get the information that Zaid is the adopted son? Anything that is not biological. Where it says that? Well, hold on. Where do you got the word adopted son? I said anything that is not by, call it whatever you want to call it. My friend, my friend, I'm repeating again. Where you got the word that this is about Zaid and this is adopted son and that is Zaid. So you failed to show me where it says Zaid. You failed to show me that he is adopted son. So I'm asking you now, all what the verse saying, call them by the name of their father. Nothing mentioned about Zaid. Nowhere Zaid is there. Oh, listen to. <laughs> no, Zaid is there. What are we talking about? Where? Okay, show me where it says Zaid. Hold on, read. Why did you go to the chapter then? Why? Why did you went? Why, why did you go to, to to jump to verse thirty six then? We have many verses after. This is long, long after. Okay, it's talking about Zaid. How you know? How you know? You're stupid man. I'm how asking you, know? you. I'm asking you. How you know this about Zaid? Zaid, his biological son. I'm asking you how you know this is about Zaid. How you know that Muhammad adopted Zaid? Listen. Listen, I'm asking you, you are in the corner, everybody is dying laughing at you. How you know that Muhammad adopted a person, his name is Zaid, please. 
the verse is you you're facing the verse you're reading it i'm asking the question how you know that muhammad he adopted a son his name is zaid this is from the hadith and you liar you said to me you don't accept the hadith so i'm repeating the question where you got that zaid is adopted son to muhammad is there's a verse in the quran that says that muhammad he adopt a person his name is zaid but you're going to jump seven verses later and say this is about Zaid. What a stupid ass. You see? Yo, here we go. You're <laughs> First of all, I agree with you that Muhammad here, because he want to have sex with Zainab, he forbid them from adoption so he can have sex with her because the Arabs start talking about him. But this is in the Hadith. And you said to me 1,000 times that those who follow the Hadith are donkeys. And even today you said that. So you are a donkey. So I'm asking you, how we can find that adopted son is located in the Quran, is meant for Zaid? Anybody that is not your biological son. See, here we go. He when I insult. I'm asking you, please, in which book you learn that Muhammad he adopted a son, his name is Zaid. Where I, where you learn that Zaid was adopted by Muhammad? Go ahead. Said it is biological and non-biological. Abdul, so I don't care. I don't care. You said to me this is about Zaid. So how you know that this is about Zaid? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you want to call a friend? No, I'm not going to call a friend. So show I me, said, you know, you're wasting my time. How many times I need to repeat the question? How you say, how you say this is about the adopted son and this is Zaid. This is information can be found only in the Hadith. So you are guys, a liar. You are a liar. You are copying the Hadith and you claim you don't follow the Hadith. I ask you, how you know who is the wife of Muhammad Khadija? You said from the books of history. You are a liar. The books of history is the Hadith. I ask you, how you know that the wife of Muhammad is Khadija? You said the book of history. Search Google. And we search Google, we find that we find the Hadith. So there's nowhere in the Quran says Khadija. There's nowhere in the Quran that says Aisha. There's nowhere in the Quran that says those names. So how you get those names? Simply from the Hadith. So you are a fraud. Answer. So what so? I ask you, how you know that Zaid is the adopted son of Muhammad? You see here in, in the translation, they inserted between two brackets, adopted sons. Okay, you said to me this about Zaid. How you know it's about Zaid? Uh, because the, uh, you just read the verse after that. You, you just okay, here we go. This is, the, this is the verse after it where it says Zaid. Go ahead. Because it was one case <laughs> in the history of Muhammad, uh -huh. one case adopted son, and biological son, that's Zaid. There is, because, uh, there is one case, I will, I will go with you. So how you know that this is the case, where we can find the case? That Muhammad, it's, that Muhammad it's, adopted a son, where we can find the case? You're wasting time, you jumped, why did he jump? It's you who said in history, everybody knows in, there's only one case, everybody knows in history, there's one case, you said history, everybody heard you saying the word history. So now I'm asking you, which book of history spoke about Muhammad adopting a son, his name is Zaid, go ahead. The book of history talks about Jesus. The book of history talk about change. Him. Don't change. The, don't change. I'm asking you about Zaid now. What book of history you Muslim you follow is speaking about Zaid? Go ahead. Give me the name. I never quoted. Did I say history about Zaid? I quoted the Quran. No, you said you said history. Everybody heard you. And the Quran nowhere it says. Okay, show me again. Let us repeat. Where in the Quran it says that Allah Prophet Muhammad he adopted a man. His name is Zaid. Go ahead. God is telling you that right there. Where? You, you, you just quoted the verse. Where, where? Show me. Here we go. Read. I'm reading. Here we go. I'm, I'm, you see, you are, I am illiterate. I'm, you, are, you are not like your Muhammad. You know, I'm like Muhammad. So read for me and show me where it says that. Go ahead. Listen. Now, you, you said let's go back to our debate. Now you're going to history. Now you're changing. You are the one who mentioned history. You said in the history, there's, only, the, there's one case. You said in the history, there's one case of Muhammad adopting Zaid. You said that, not me. What you are the one who mentioned you? history. You are the one who oh, mentioned the word case. It's recorded, Abdul, and you will take it later and you will die listening to yourself. So I'm asking you now, can you show me the verse in the Quran where it says that Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, he adopted a man, his name is Zaid. Go ahead. Uh, was, it, was the topic about the death of Muhammad or not? <laughs> yes, 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 but now, but you, you see, you are, you are very silly. I asked you, I, I asked you, you see, I'm, I'm making a trap for you. Obviously, you're a fool and you fell into it. So the death of Muhammad, I asked you about the death of Muhammad. You said, Allah, he caused his death. I asked you how he died. You said, we are uh, history. <laughs> okay, how, how the prophet of Allah, he died. You said, you go and search your Google. History. So the Quran never said how Muhammad he died. So I'm asking you again, how Muhammad he died? You repeat. 
There we go. Search Google, books of history. You are stupid. I ask you, which book of history you learn how Muhammad died? You damn liar. It's not about it's not about uh, 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 the death of Muhammad. It's about Hadija. You ask me. Okay. No. I, in the beginning, we start talking about the death of your prophet, and then I ask you, well, as long as you are talking about history, and you talk and you follow the Quran, I ask you, who is the first, the wife of Muhammad? You said uh, uh, Hadija. I said, who's okay, Aisha? Right. He said, his wife. I, I said, so, yeah, okay, let me, let me repeat the question again so you can be smarter now. You know, now, now you learn the trap, so you have, to, you, you become a fox now. Let me ask you, okay, who, who is the first wife of Muhammad? I said, historically, it's Who is the first wife that has repeat from zero? So everybody loved, you know, we want more comedy. Who is the first wife of Muhammad? I said, historically. The, I don't care who is the first wife of Muhammad. Shut the fuck up and let me speak. See, you are filthy. You promise as a man not to use the bad language, but you are filthy. And this is why I hang up on you. But I want to hang up on you because we want to have a comedy. So listen, who is the first wife of Muhammad? You are getting angry. And you know, you are under, under, under the bus. And we, will, we are laughing. I'm trying to save you. So I'm giving you a chance now. Who is the first wife of Muhammad? You are a person who don't follow the hadith. Okay. Who is the first wife of the Muhammad? Chance, the, the, the chance, the, uh, the first wife of your dad, uh, uh, of I mean of your mother, we go. Oh, Halifa, we go. Is, we go. See, one see. So now, so now we confirm that uh, that ultimate fraud is a fraud. He lie. He accepts that Aisha is the wife of the Prophet, but there's nowhere in the Quran it says Aisha is his wife. Nowhere in the Quran it says Khadija is his wife. But the coward, the coward, he believed that Khadija is the wife and Aisha is the wife, and all of this is from the Hadith. So you are a coward, son of Muta, and there's no right for you to call people names because you're a fraud. Now I'm asking you, I'm giving you a chance. How you learn that Muhammad, he have a son, his name is Zaid. You refuse to say, how you learn that Muhammad have a wife, her name is Aisha. You said, book of history. How you learn that Muhammad, he have sons, they die. You refuse to say, no. This is all in the hadith, you coward. So now, let me ask you again, please, for the sake of the shin of Allah. I don't want to insult your mother as you insult my mother. My mother is a no. good woman. The man who yes. insult the mother of others, obviously, he don't care for his mother. So listen carefully. Who is Khadija? Let me repeat the question, you coward potato. Who is Khadija? You, uh, you like a parakeet. Who is a Khadija? Who is Khadija? I'm not going to hang up on you. We are enjoying this. Who is Khadija? Can you, can, can you give me my two minutes? Saying bad word will not make you hang up on you, I promise. I will, because we are laughing. Who is yes. Khadija? Who is Khadija? Who is Khadija? Can, can I have my two minutes? Go ahead. We, we are, can you be... But don't change the topic. One? Don't change the topic. Who is Khadija? Okay, I, I, are you going to give my two minutes? Who is Khadija? I'm going to give my, my two minutes. You don't keep your promise. Don't ask people to keep promise. You promise me you will not, you never use bad language. You are a filthy man. You have a filthy mouth. So don't talk about promise keeping when you don't keep your promise. So I'm asking you, who's Khadija? Okay, now I, I, I will answer. I'm going to give my two minutes. Why is it going to take a lot of time? I will answer. Who's Khadija? Take whatever time it's going to take. Already you answered, you stupid. Didn't you say to me Khadija is his wife? <laughs> see your pants. Go ahead, didn't, see your didn't pants. Didn't you say, didn't you say Khadija is his wife? You see your pants. That's what you're doing right didn't now. Didn't you say Khadija is his wife? You said that already. It's recorded. So I'm asking you now, where you learned that from? Exposed you yesterday. You, you are a coward. You are a coward, and we are laughing. So where is Khadija information coming to you from? Motherfucking liar. See, coward. That Use the are. bad language, and we are laughing. And this will be posted everywhere. And I'm not going to delete it, so everybody will see how foul your mouth, how filthy you are following Muhammad, how even you are misquoting the Quran, how you lie that, uh, how you lie that the Quran is saying clearly that Muhammad adopted a son. His name is Zaid. How you lie about how you get Aisha. Okay, no, let, let me let no. me save you. Let me save you. Let me save you. Let me save you. Oh, hold on, let everybody let, because we want to have more comedy. Don't go, please. Don't hang up. So listen, in the Quran I, it says there's a guy, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? I said the, the, your Bible. Shut said up. It, in the Quran, is, in the Quran it says there's a guy, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? God is describing people. Who is who is Israel? In the Quran. You said you don't follow hadith. How we learn who is Israel? Who are they? Who are those people? How we learn who is Israel? Ejaculate like uh, like horses. Uh, okay, they? so now here we go. go ejaculate. Now I'm done with you. And this is, will be recorded already, and I will not delete it until a few days from now. So people, they can download and post everywhere. See the coward? They lie. I don't follow the hadith. I don't follow the hadith. Hadith is written by dogs and donkeys. Hadith is for dogs. Hadith is for stupid ones. And then we ask him, who is Zaid? His adopted son. But where in the Quran says uh, Muhammad adopted a son, his name is Zaid? Where it says that? In order to learn this, you have to go to the Hadith.
What's the name of your prophet wife? Khadija. Okay, where do you learn that from? From the books of history. But what, what books of history? The books of history of Islam is the books of Sirah. This is Islamic book of Hadith. All of it is collection of Hadith. He said, she said. Where you learned about what happened between Zayd and Zainab? From the Hadith. So this coward, he bragged for a year that those who follow Hadith are donkeys. And then we find that he is number one followers of the Hadith. Filthy mouth. And I promise you, you know, I delete my videos because you Muslims are a bunch of terrified people who flag my videos. But we will keep this video and I want everybody to download it so everybody will laugh. We ask him how to find Khadija, the wife of Muhammad. Go search Google. <laughs> this, this, this idiot, he don't want to follow the Hadith, he want to follow Google. Okay, if now we go follow Google, what Google will say? He will say in the book of Hadith, it says Khadija is the wife of the Prophet. <laughs> Abdul, I trapped you. You've been, you got nailed. You got served. People are dying laughing at you. From the book of history. What history is that? Is that the book of history written by Shakespeare? This is the Hadith. If we go right now and we search in all of Google, Aisha, Khadija, all those names, what will come to us? Hadith. And this is the only trustworthy history for the Muslims. Everybody knows. So you coward, you filthy. You keep lying that you don't follow the Hadith. And today, we serve you once for all. And the second we insist that you have to answer, you know you start using filthy words and language. How many times I need to bust you? I mean, I have my fingers all over your ass. And by the way, this is not from the gay club. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to steal your wallet. <laughs> you know, no, you know, those who did do, okay, the, Allah, he caused the death of Muhammad. How Muhammad died, he will not say. Do you know why he will not say? Because how we will know? I mean, do you see how stupid he is? Allah caused the death of Muhammad. Okay, tell me how he died then. Allah, he caused his death by what? By disease, by illness, heart attack. He's, he was asleep. He was driving his camel. His wife, she pushed him from the top of it. What happened? He will not answer. The only way to find out is in the Hadith. Nowhere in the Quran it says how he died. Actually, the Quran is a very confusing book. It says if he die or get killed. Why? Because the God of Islam do not know how Muhammad will die. Aka Muhammad. Muhammad, he was writing this. He do not know how he will die. How this is coming from God. And this God, he says, Muhammad is just a messenger. So if he died or slain. Or there's a third option. There is a third option. Where is the knowledge of Allah? He do not know how Muhammad will die? Allah will cause his death. That's even make it more horrible because now you just said to me that Allah, he caused the death of Muhammad. So, and he caused Jesus to live forever. Where is Jesus now? In heaven. And where is, this? Where is Muhammad now? He's dead. So Allah caused the death of Muhammad. And he refused to cause, to cause the death of Jesus. And you ask the people here why the Christians are victorious and happy to follow Jesus because we are following the living one who live right now in heaven. And you admitted that Allah, he is the one who caused the death of Muhammad. And by the way, uh, once this guy, I, you know, I forgot when, he said that Muhammad, he have sons. I said he cannot have sons. He said he have sons. Where do you get this from? Again, from the books of Hadith. <laughs> So today we give you a shower. I'm, I'm so glad you called it your, your potato because now I don't know how many people I will bring comedy for their day and they will enjoy the rest of their day. I want everyone to download this video. You can cut the part where Ultimate Fart he called. And by, by the way, don't call him Ultimate Fart. Call him Sheikh uh, Mufti. This guy, he likes titles, you know. 
the most knowledgeable person. I don't know what country from he is. Is from Gambia, something like that. Like the most knowledgeable person, like amazing person. He have his channel too. So I don't know if you can put his uh, uh, his video there. What a what a scam! You want to play with me? And right away he start using the effort. The second you step in their in their tail, they are all over the place. From the book of history, search Google. Look what? I learned who is the wife of Muhammad from the book of history. Who is the father of Muhammad? Search the book of history. So you do not know even who is your prophet. Because nowhere in the Quran says, who is this man? He just say Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Uh, the ultimate troll, because he's ashamed of his prophet statements in the hadith, he try to deny them. And look what he said. He said, do you think you're stupid that the prophet, he died four years after the poison? Who want to believe in that? Your prophet is a donkey. He believe in that. Who care? And secondly, who said to you that a person, he took the poison, he would die immediately? That's not true. It can take many years. The poison caused damage to the kidney, and the kidney start collapsing, caused damage to the stomach. And you cannot recover that. Everybody knows that poison will damage the tissues. And based on how big the damage is, how fast the death will be. So when, when Muhammad got poisoned, They cut his throat, they make a hole, and they start sucking the blood from his throat. And later a Muslim, he drank it, which is very stupid. And then, since then, Muhammad is suffering, as you see. And if Muhammad was wrong about his death, that he died by poison, that additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet, because how come Allah did not tell him, inspire him, what is the problem? And as long as Allah, he agreed that Allah caused his death, Okay, when a person is suffering all these years, and Allah causing his suffering, for what? Why? He is punishing him. The Quran says, if Muhammad is lying, we are going to cut his artery. And the hadith confirmed that exactly. So today you've been served, everybody is laughing at you, and we prove that you are a liar. With no mercy. And I'm not going to download this video, I mean, I'm going to delete it. You deleted this video! I delete this video because it's full of 30 words and now still you said the same word I ask you promise me you coward not to use a filthy language and you notice right away that he used filthy language so he can hold hang up and it's like a way to escape I would say filthy language he would hang up on me but today I was successful to control myself I allow you to continue to have the happy ending movie. And now we made you more famous. Search the book of history. Open the verse. Verse number five and six and seven. It says, where it says? How do you know that Muhammad have adopted son? Where? Show me. Coward potato. <laughs> You see here, when Muhammad and they call us, this is why they don't call. We make them famous, but as a fool, not famous as a smart. And who is going to be more famous than ultimate fart? Who call his prophet stupid? Because the one who said the hadith is Muhammad. The one who says such a thing is a stupid. He said that Muhammad is a stupid then. So they start making mockery in order, in order for them to escape. So the Christian prince would hang up on them. And then they would say, see, he hang up on us, he ran away. Who's next? And in the speed of light, the second they are in the corner, they switch the Bible. 
as fast as a turtle. You know that the turtle converted to Islam, right? He took Shahada. Do we have any Muhammadan? If there is no hadith, you will not know who is Muhammad. You will not know where he lived. You will not know where he died. You will not know who he married. You will not know anything. Because the Quran is an empty book. Do we have any Muslim here smarter than Ultimate Fault? Maybe you can do better. You know, when I asked him, who is Israel? Right away he started using filthy language because this will expose him even more. How, how he will know that Israel is Jacob? Nowhere in the Quran says that Jacob is the same person of Israel. Suddenly the Quran saying Israel. How we know who is Israel? We have to go to the Bible. In the best scenario, you have to go to the Hadith. How this guy, he knew that even Muhammad, he married this woman. The Quran saying, why you are saying to the man, keep your wife. It doesn't say even he got married. <laughs> and which women we are talking about? Nowhere in the Quran says. This is what they are good about. They open a watermelon. They see the name of Allah. They look at the sky. They see the name of Allah. I look, I see nothing but watermelon. I look, I see, you know, it took like a rabbit. Uh, for the Abdul, it's Allah. Look, it says Allah. They open a tomato. They find the name of Allah. I mean, they find the name of Allah everywhere, even in twelve seed. But the second you ask them a question, even what Allah means, they do not know. Do we have any Abdul? Who's next? So guys, we are going to keep this video, but not forever. I don't like to, you know, especially he mentioned some filthy languages. Uh, and I advise you, advise you uh, to keep those, the video as it is, even with the filthy language. So people will see how filthy he is, unless you want to publish it for kids. I mean, young ones. Any other Abdul? Maybe, maybe. It's very stupid. Now the Prophet, he died four years after this. It's very stupid. Well, your Prophet is stupid, I agree. And Aisha, she is saying that. And the Muslims agree. All the Muslims in the world agree. And actually, I accept his call. Because as you see, we have a drought. <laughs> and when you have a drought, like when you, you know, like when you're out of money, you look for your penny. And the ultimate spot is our penny. <laughs> Nobody will call. And this guy, you know, he thinks because he is a hero, we avoid him. We avoid you because you are filthy, you're trashy, and you're a donkey. And you never answer anything. We have to we have to trap you. And today we did. You've been trapped. It was the candy camera program. And later we can add some laughing to the video. Any Abdul? Please inform your friends that we are now in the Arabian Prophet account doing live broadcasting and always to be updated about where we are going to go live. You go to Patreon slash Patreon.com slash Christian Prince. You do not need to make donation. You do not even need to sign in. You can see where I'm going live.
اني محمدا and this is you know you need to learn you need to learn that when you are doing so called debate with muslims you don't debate muslims there's no debate this is why i don't like the way david would he do it or other christians because those are liars debate have to be between two honest decent faithful people it doesn't matter what religion is so i want to debate somebody is a hindu if he starts lying about his book, doesn't say what he's saying, there's no debate there. You cannot debate a liar. You can only bust a liar. Debate a liar is impossible. That's what we do. We bust their lies. So he don't follow the hadith, but everything he learned about his prophet, this hypocrite, is from the hadith. Everything. Where he lived, where he died, where his grave, where his who is his wives, who is his family, everything. Without the hadith, Muhammad is an unknown person. Mayday, mayday. My friend, you keep saying to me, go live in TikTok. We found that you cannot go live in TikTok yet. TikTok is not what we thought. Somebody told me, if you have more than 1,000 subscribers, you can go live. It turned to be not true. It turned to be even if you have 100,000, you might not get that. So this is like a privilege. TikTok give it to some people. All right? This is not for everybody. So we got wrong information from people. Until now, I don't see anywhere. It says you can go live. There's no option. And I watch videos on YouTube. And they made it clear that this is not an option for everybody. TikTok, they give that permission for few people only. Like somebody maybe have a million, somebody even have a 3,000. But for them, why they decide, I don't know. How they do it, I don't know. But it's not like uh, in YouTube, if you have uh, uh, a certain number of subscribers, you can go live or you can extend your uh, uh, video. Like in the before, it used to be 15 minutes. And then if you have certain subscribers, you can have more than 15 minutes. Or you have to confirm it with your phone number. So obviously it's not what we thought. Well, I don't know how we can go live. I don't know. How many followers you have? Maybe because I'm still new. Maybe later. <clears throat> they will activate that option for me. I don't know. For now, I, I don't see it. I don't have such an option. Too bad I should ask Ultimate Fault. He's expert in everything. Take talk. Take donkey. Take history, search Google. I mean, I could not believe that he, uh, he told me to know who is the wife of Muhammad by searching Google. This guy, he don't follow the Hadith. He accept Google. But Google will take you to the Hadith. You need an app in your computer and mobile. But I don't like to install this application in my mobile, to be honest with you. Let us see. Yeah, we will make short videos in TikTok. Like this is what I'm doing right now. We have a very short videos, like two minute maximum. And uh, we will make more. Like every day I will try to make one video or two videos. And by time that will grow and we are trying not to use any language that will give the muslims opportunity to flag our videos
Any question? Any Mohammedan would like to join us? Anyone? Uh, today is Wednesday. Maybe this coming Friday, I will make it, uh, we will make it the time where Christians can call. And yesterday we mentioned only male they can call, and people get upset, women they get upset. But I can let women call, uh, but you have to promise me to speak in the topic. Don't tell me something private about you in the live streaming, like, you know, something private about your personal issues. Here we have a topic. Nothing personal. I don't want people to ask me, uh, to call me to ask me about a the problem they have. I'm not your uh, shrink. So we might allow ladies to call, but you have to focus on the topic, nothing else. The second you go out of the topic, I will hang up on you. How and when Aisha died? We need to ask uh, Dr. Uh, Ultimate Ford. All right, look like we are out of customers. I mean, do you see what's happening, how, how bad the situation is? The only customer we got is this guy who love you know, this guy remind me of the guy who wanted to, to hunt the lion. And then when he heard that the lion, either he will eat him or he will do boom to him to him, he go and he miss always. So he can get the boom boom. And this guy never stopped. He keep calling me. He got the boom boom. He called me again. He got more boom boom. Didn't you have enough? You became the joke of everybody. How come you keep missing? You miss always. Your gun never, never, not even one bullet. Something wrong with you. And good for you, I'm not the lion who do boom boom to you. I just hang up on you. This is what you are seeking, obviously. How is an Islam funeral? Well, Islam funeral is a stupid thing. Muhammad, he changed it just because of a Jew. He said, this is how we do it. And this is why this idiot, he don't want us to read the Hadith. It's embarrassment. Muhammad was praying in the crops, the person he died. And while he was praying, a Jewish guy walked by and he says, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? He changed the way the prayer worked. Just because a guy walking by says, this is how we do it. So what if he is this how we do it? But because he is a thief, he knew that he is trying to copy the Jews. And now he felt as if the Jew is saying to him, we got you busted. This is how we do it. What the response? Immediately. He did not wait for the inspiration from Allah. I mean, if you want to change the way the prayer is, shouldn't you wait for your God to tell you to change it? That's mean the way he was doing it have nothing to do with Allah. He was just making his, uh, you know, following the, 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 the Jews. And uh, when the Jews get him busted, he decided to say, uh, change it. Any Mohammedan? What we will talk about Friday, we will see, I don't know. We will see. We will see.
Not for sure, not boom boom. CP, you are telling us that those are liars. Why don't you directly tell them this? So what I'm doing now, didn't I say they are liars? Didn't I say to the guy, you are a liar, you are a fraud? What's wrong with people? So all the words I say to the guy, I did not tell them yet that they are liars? What happened is being, uh, you are you asleep? And I notice you are a person with two faces. Aren't you the one who posted in the comment section that only brave, they do debate face to face? Christian Prince, you don't do that? You have two faces, get out of here. Face to face is a brave. In California, why I'm going to Afghanistan? What the Muslim he can do to me in California? I don't get there. It's not. It's not worth it. I sit in my computer, wearing my short, with naked feet, drinking my coffee, and I beat the hell of everybody. What does this have to do with face to face? There's people here. They come when in your present they speak nice about you. The second you go to sleep, they post comment which is full of poison. Why you don't tell them in their face that they are liars? I just did, you donkey. Like you, I just told you, hypocrite liar. And why you keep coming here? Those guys who complain about what I do, why they keep coming here? Are you, are you an idiot? Are you stupid? You don't like what I do. You don't like how I do it and you keep coming. And you follow me from distance to distance. I changed location from the North Pole to the South Pole, and you came here again. And we don't like you. Unbelievable. You remind me of the Muslim's email. Christian Prince, so what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Imagine if I wasn't in front of her, what would happen to me? I mean, what kind of an email? If you, uh, I, I, so what if your voice is so sexy? Who, why you are talking about my voice? What's sexy? And you hate me, really? And then they send me emails saying, if you convert to Islam, I will marry you. And then, you know, I said, no, thank you. Don't email me again. And then, Okay, I will convert to Christianity. You marry me? I said, still no. What the heck? She will convert to Christianity. But this means you are fraud. The, one, the, the man or the woman who changed their religion just to get a man or a woman in the bed, they are not decent. They have no decencies. The one who changed his God for the sake of a penis or a vagina, he is not even a human. He is doing what animals do. This is how we do it. Sit down, sit down, act differently. All right. <clears throat> exactly. She will change her mind upside down if she see my face. <laughs> All right. I, my voice is getting tired now. Yesterday we have a, we have a video of uh, of six hours, and because we spoke about many things. And because there is some kind of a language there, the Muslim using Ferdi language, I deleted the video. But this one, we will keep it, so everyone can download it. But remember, I don't keep my videos forever, so I will keep it maybe for a day or two, and we will take it down. All right? So please download as soon as it is ready. Usually it takes maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes for the video to be ready. And I changed this coward, Ultimate Ford, to download the videos. And yesterday, we repeated what we said yesterday, and today we added some more spice and flavor, and it's more fun. So have fun, Ultimate Ford.
I want to see how proud you are. So thank you all guys for being here. I hope we had a good halal fun today. <clears throat> and uh, we enjoyed our time. And you know, I, actually, I'm really happy that Ultimate 40 Core, at least we got some exciting, uh, you know, <laughs> time. Not without any Muslim calling. This, you see how important sometimes Ultimate 40 is very important. If not him, we will laugh at what? Eh. So thank you, Ultimate 40. Even when your faith language you speak it, still thank you because that exposes even Islam more. Why a person who follow a prophet of God, and they say they teach us decencies, and he say the MF word, and you know, what is that? Because you are a street boy like your prophet. Thank you. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and as you know always, if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 